All right, uh, Monday, July 29th. This is the video recap for today and the prep for tomorrow. Everything happening live at eslive8.com. That is e mini live, a screen shirt, eight hours a day. So this morning, uh, cook, I mean, we took a couple of trades. Uh, market kind of grinding all day, back and forth. Uh, we find some good acceptance above the number uh, 3019 uh, that I've been talking about. We were able to capture about six points, five and uh, 5.75. So let's go live to what's going on in the market right now. Uh, very important. We have a couple of poor loss uh, zone structures, weakest structures for tomorrow. Okay, the market um, has finally find acceptance around this 3020. And above today was kind of a nuanced day, it's an inside day. So, coming for tomorrow, we're gonna have a nice breakup, hopefully, out of this range. Getting ready for FOMC for Wednesday, and uh, very important to find out to look where your reference are. And that 22 it was key coming in today. So, we have find some acceptance above the 29, so it's very important going forward. Right now, Globex is open and uh, Globex is currently giving us a nice trade. I mean, if you look at what happened today in the market, the settlement from yesterday, that settle became a uh, resistance. The point of control from yesterday, we came a couple of times. I mean, during the E period, H, I and M, and we just couldn't find any more buyers going to to the all time high. So coming in tomorrow, very important to find out whether this is going to be some support and uh, see if we can move above 30.30. For tonight, what I'm seeing is the structure that I'm leaving behind is pretty mechanical. So we do have poor loss to repair tomorrow. These are structures where we do not have any excess um, on, on those structures. So that will be important for tomorrow. We have a very wide uh, prominent point of control and that is at 30, 21, 25. And look, one point um, difference between uh, both poor laws coming in for tomorrow. Another thing that I'm looking for is, let me show you, and I've been talking about this for a while, is about the fact that we have this expanding wedge on the ES and uh, we've been holding this line uh, this trend line, excuse me, from that uh, expanding wedge. Let me get rid of this yellow one. I think I don't need that one no more. Um, well, I'll leave it in for now because that was actually a support line uh, we were using as support on the previous trades. Today was really mechanical. I, it was pretty, I mean, slow. There was not much participation from uh, on any on any of the sides volume was really bad early on we were talking about look at this range that um i marked since 9 30 and by 11 o'clock we were sitting in the same place volume just went absolutely nowhere i mean i mean 30 000, 30 000, i mean 19 000. L look at this so it was really important to carry um some information forward going into the close of the day what I should expect tomorrow is for us to break out of this balance. Being an inside day, um, inside the previous day, it should be pretty easy. We don't know if the market is going to break as of right now. It appears to me we will, um, you know, probably have a move and break out uh, to the upside going towards that 30-30. I would not be fading that move uh, except if we look at, you know, the context of the market, what are we going to do? Are we going to double top? Again, we only have three ticks of excess on that particular trade. Volume wise, I made a comment early on in the room as to um, what I'm looking for. So the previous week, the week from the 14th to the 19th, not the previous, the, the one before it, we did have a nice volume around the 3018. That's why this number is key for the week that we are in. Last week, the one from the 21st to the 26th, the volume 
was uh, around the 3008. And as you guys, you guys recall that reference that I was talking about on my videos about the 3009. Well, sellers were in control at the 3009 level. Now the sellers appear to be gone and, and now the buyers have taken control of this market. And you can see it clearly now how we are balancing above this value area from two weeks ago. So the, I mean, I think if the market keeps finding balance here, guys, market can go to that 3,100 that I've been talking about. We find balance here and uh, we have FOMC coming in uh, Wednesday. We could easily pop 20, 30 points and in increase the chances for us to continue moving higher be before correcting some inventory. We still have a lot of inventory to be corrected since last week. We came at 29.72 and we haven't looked back since then. So very nice trend going up. I, I expect the market to eventually correct this uh, a fire with a firecracker event, correct this inventory. I don't know what they're going to do with FOMC. Are they going to uh, be okay with a 25 basis point cut? Or are they going to read into what the Fed is going to say going down the line? Are they going to do more cuts? A lot of things into the markets. I believe there are some news tomorrow also about China uh, related uh, the deal. So there is a lot of things on the table that we need to pay attention to. Me personally, the way I see it, I'm just trading every day um, the reference that the market is generating for us. Every single piece of information that the market is generating for you, that's the information you have to use in order to execute your trades. Having said that, let's look at what the market was doing the previous weeks, and I'll show you the weekly TPO. And uh, I made a reference on, on the video from I think from the weekend, um, I, as I recall. And the fact was that all these point of controls for things June 30th, we have not, uh, you know, revisited them yet uh, as, of, as, as of Monday. And I, I was expecting us to come back to this 3006 and, and see if we can get the volume out of the way, but we did not. So pretty interesting that, you know, two weeks ago, we did have this volume right here again at this level of 17 and 19 level. And this week we are finding uh, acceptance above this, this, um, this price structure. So it will be key going into tomorrow, having the Fed on Wednesday and uh, tomorrow, I believe there are some China related news to see whether the market is going to pull back, correct some inventory, and again, uh, let us have a, a better trade. It has been grinding, right? Nothing to do, very mechanical trades. Today was a, a good day where everyone in the room, everyone got to see it live on us, for how mechanical it was. I mean, we came to the open and we sold off. So what I did uh, was go with it. I mean, we sold off 30, 25, 50, uh, got out at 23. There was another trade where we sold off at 19. The trade was going nowhere at around 10, 30 Eastern. Uh, we only got half a point on that. There was absolutely nothing to do. Uh, from there forward, the market just grinded. And it, at a point, it was between, uh, let me show you what the market was doing. So what I did, uh, I told the guys in the room, listen, look at this, oops, uh, look at this mess um, that we are in. And this was a broker's paradise when they take their money of, of retailers, right? You are stuck inside 19th and 23.75 most of the morning. Think, uh, the things got even worse as you came into lunchtime after luncheon in the afternoon when you were inside 20 and uh, 22, 19 and 22. So what they would do is just sit right on halfback and give these false breakouts and rip the market higher again. So anyone shorting this market again, they would rip against them um, in the afternoon. So what's really very, I mean, really hard to trade, I believe, for some retailers if, if they don't know what the market is doing. Into the close, well, we didn't do much. I was expecting a bigger correction to the inventory. Uh, from the perspective of inventory, I have a five tick reversal that I use for my trading. And we left unfinished auctions. 
this morning at around 9.30, uh, 9.14 Central Time. And we might, I mean, pay attention because I'm going to leave them on my chart. These unfinished auctions that we left, uh, they're probably going to be corrected down the line, maybe tomorrow or, or the day before. And if you look at that, we left them all the way at six, uh, 17, 16, 25, and uh, 15. So carry those forward so that you know that those references do exist. Uh, we were currently, I mean, the market is absolutely going nowhere. Uh, into the close, we were looking at some offers being stocked at 23, 22. I don't know if those orders are going to get, uh, again, a stock tomorrow. But um, as of now, Globex is not doing nothing. My 30-minute uh, footprint, it was just showing signal after signal that these guys had no intention to move out of this 19 uh, level and 23 level. I mean, a couple of times we they made an attempt to go above the settle from yesterday and it was just a plain uh, failure. So tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. in the morning, I will be live for those of you that are not yet part of my program and being member of the room i invite you to come in join us come at eslive8.com and see us trade live i mean for eight hours we go at it we look at every single trade and we take them live as they go so come and check us out you can follow me on twitter send me a dm and with that i'm gonna let you go have a great night take care i'll see you guys tomorrow morning